Now, a Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day update. We are headed into a first alert weather day overnight tonight as this very dynamic system heads our way as we head into the later part of the day today. We've got this very warm air mass ahead of this where temperatures are in the 70s and 80s again this afternoon. Some much cooler air on the back side of this that's going to kick us back to the 50s and 60s for the later part of the week. And you've got uh, a lot of energy to work with when you get those two kind of fighting air masses. When you have two big differences like that, that's going to allow for much higher dynamics there. We're already seeing some severe weather this morning moving into western Kentucky, southern parts of Illinois as uh, we've got those yellow orange boxes are the severe thunderstorm warnings and the black boxes tornado warnings already this morning at a time when actually we have a lot less instability because of diurnal cooling through the day. Now the highest risk for severe weather is going to be up through central parts of Ohio, northern parts of Kentucky as we head into the rest of the day today. But in our area, we are at a level two risk. So this is increased over what we were looking at yesterday. Does it mean we're going to see a widespread severe weather outbreak? Not necessarily, but it does mean we have to be on a little higher alert for that potential for severe weather here. And we're talking the potential for damaging straight line winds. That's winds 50 miles per hour or greater, a quarter inch size hail or larger, and can't even rule out the possibility of some isolated tornadoes across our area. And that's going to be for our entire area as we head through those overnight hours. And that's the big concern here is that this comes at a time when a lot of you are are going to be asleep because during the day today we look nice and dry. I don't really expect to see a drop of rain out there. Just those partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. It's once we get closer to about nine o'clock that we start to see the leading edge of the storm system work its way into those northern mountains and then moving into the upstate and northeast Georgia between about 11 o'clock and midnight tonight. So again, while a lot of you are asleep is when we're expecting some of the worst weather to roll through. Even if we don't get a severe warning at all, we're still looking at thunderstorms rolling through. So if you're a lighter sleep, you're going to be hearing those rumbles of thunder through the overnight hours. Some fairly robust storms, even if they don't get all the way to that strong to possibly severe level there. The good news is this is in and out of here pretty quickly because by 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, this is cleared out and we dry out as we head into the afternoon hours, looking for some development of some snow and some rain into the mountains on the backside of that Wednesday night and into Thursday, indicating that cooler air that's coming in behind because today we go from that high of 82 to 70 tomorrow in the upstate and then 58 as we look into the day on Thursday. So now we're feeling like winter again with those 60s sticking around all the way through Sunday. That indicates that cooler air. Plus, it's going to be windy as well. Today, winds gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wednesday and Thursday, winds gusting 30 to 35 miles per hour across the entire area and still a little breezy on Friday before finally starting to calm down. Once we get through the uh, to overnight tonight, the rest of the week in the upstate is dry. The mountains are going to be looking, though, at some of that south uh, northwesterly flow, giving us a small chance for some snow showers mainly along the Tennessee North Carolina border plus it's cooler with those afternoon highs in the 50s all the way through Saturday it is time